there's like a house over there. I bet you anything this family is like eating dinner and just looking out their back window and they're like, there's a chick in the woods with a bunch of different bottles. What the heck's going on? <laughs> for today's video, I wanna talk about my favorite sunscreens that are safe for acne prone skin and the environment. And especially traveling in Hawaii, I learned quite a bit about reef safe sunscreens. Essentially, our coral reefs are dying. They used to be these beautiful, bright, vibrant ecosystems that are now dead largely in part of pollution and because of the actual toxins that we're putting on our skin that get stuck in the ocean. This stuff that is in a lot of the sunscreens we use is so toxic and it is so chemically stable that it doesn't break down, which means it's staying on your skin, which means it's staying in your body and it's staying in our environment and it's being really destructive. And for me, I, I try to do my best in the world. I want to do what I can to leave this world a better place than I entered it in. And I think a lot of people have that goal and that passion as well, but it's hard when brands at the drugstore are selling you something for 50% off and you just need something so you don't get a sunburn. But if that thing is gonna destroy the earth and it's gonna destroy your skin, it's doing more harm in the long run. I believe that education is empowerment. So today I'm gonna to share with you my favorite sunscreens for what skin type they will work for and why they will actually work, what's actually in them. And I first wanna start off with the brand that I didn't know about last year when I filmed my last sunscreen video. I have learned a lot in the last year and a lot about sunscreen since then. But this is a brand called Amavara. They are amazing because they are vegan, they are cruelty free, they are reef safe, and they only have one active that again is reef safe and skin safe. This is probably my favorite everyday sunscreen because it is so blendable. When it comes to sunscreens, there are two types. There is a physical sunscreen and there is a chemical sunscreen. The way those work is in the molecules. The physical ones act as almost like a, like a mirror and they kind of reflect back the sun. So you put them on, they're like a shield, the sun comes to get you and it just reflects off. And the chemical sunscreens are different. They actually sit on your skin and they're these little particles that are kind of like sponges. They sit on your skin wherever you apply it, and instead of reflecting those rays back outside, they absorb that and they kind of hold those UVA and UVB rays in tight towards your skin so that your skin doesn't absorb them until the sunscreen wears off. Physical sunscreens are always better for anybody who has sensitive skin and for the environment. Chemical sunscreens like oxybenzone or anything that ends in that O-N-E can be very damaging to the reefs and to your body. In Amavara, it's just pure zinc oxide and this sunscreen is cruelty free, it's vegan, it's reef safe, and again, it only has one active. Now, I didn't even know about this brand until earlier this year and this has quickly become my favorite everyday sunscreen. I mean, you know, if I take a doctor's advice or take an esthetician's device, you're supposed to apply sunscreen every day keep your skin protected but like if i'm trying to sit here and take a selfie or go to a photo shoot or take photos with friends and my face is flashing back like casper i'm gonna be honest that for me is more concerning than skipping a day of sunscreen which is not super good Ow, my legs falling asleep do you guys mind if i sit frog style okay cool <laughs> Amavar is really the first sunscreen that doesn't flash back, which I am so stoked about. This is SPF 30, and as you can see, it comes out white because it is a mineral-based sunscreen, but this blends in so well, and it doesn't leave me feeling greasy. A lot of other sunscreens, especially on my oily prone skin, leave me feeling physically greasy, and I'm like, I've already got like a Texas oil factory going on in my acne prone skin. I don't need more of it. And this doesn't leave my skin dry either, but it literally just blends right in. My favorite one for traveling is this one. It's the stick that goes on the face. You literally put it on like a glue stick. Recently, I've been using this one as my everyday sunscreen because again, it does blend in well. It stays on pretty well. And then I'll do touch-ups later on in the day because every sunscreen needs touch-ups. But I'm a mermaid. I swim in the ocean. I love spending time at the beach and I burn very, very quickly and it damages my skin. I don't get tan, I peel. And then my acne flares up. And that's not cool and that's not safe. So this is what I use, especially when I'm driving and stuff. And then the SPF 30 is what I use on both my face and my body. It's kind of interchangeable depending on how much I have with me or what area I'm trying to cover, like what size. Especially, I get burns really bad right here on the decollete. This always ends up pink and inflamed and you can actually see early signs of aging in my chest area. Uh, because of the damage that the sun has done and I didn't used to think to put sunscreen here when I was younger like so dumb right like who doesn't think of that but 
you won't think about it until you're told. This one does have UVA and UVB protection. Again, when you look at the spectrum of light, you have your Roy G Biv, then you have your infrared, then you have everything that goes up to microwaves. And on the other side, you have your x-rays and your gamma rays. Light is a spectrum, and the colors that we see are not the whole thing. It's just a small portion. UVA and UVB are two different kinds of light in that spectrum, both of which are damaging. But this has the earth well zinc technology. Again, it's one ingredient that protects against all all those different things and the other ingredients in here are reef safe they are skin safe they are acne safe so if you have oily prone skin if you have acne prone skin or if you're someone who needs an everyday sunscreen that doesn't flash back this is what I've been using this would be my top recommendation now, what about when it comes to body sunscreens? For me, I find it really hard to kind of like reach my back and reach my legs and like other areas, especially because if I don't have my mom or a friend helping me put it on, I can't always reach. This is one from Pacifica that I love, not only because it's reef safe and it's skin safe, but because of the other ingredients. This is a mineral sunscreen and it's a coconut probiotic and this one actually comes ah, in a spray form. Oh, well. There goes sunscreen. Ooh, it smells so good. There goes sunscreen all over my camera equipment. Oh, did I get you dirty? Oh, I'm sorry, my babies. I'm sorry. <sighs> this starts off as a literal spray sunscreen with zinc oxide at 14.9%. It's SPF 50, it's got these coconut probiotics, and it actually has an oil in it. So this is an oil-based sunscreen that protects your skin. It goes onto my back really easy, and because it is so oily, it's so easy to move around. Now the problem with this is blendability. Again, it does make my skin oily, and it does not blend in and soak in super well. I would say this takes a good 10 minutes to actually soak in. Now it is my favorite for body, it is my favorite for those hard to reach places, and it is my absolute favorite for swimming in the ocean because it is safe. It's water resistant for 80 minutes, forgot to mention that. And especially if you're swimming in the ocean, like you need a water resistant sunscreen. But if you are worried about going out every day or being seen, this one doesn't blend in as well as the Amavara one or as well as some other ones. So just keep that in mind. Now if you have dry skin, this is phenomenal. If your legs get dry after you shave them, if you have dry knees or dry elbows, this is gonna be your saving grace but highly recommended. It's meant to protect and hydrate. Again, vegan and cruelty free. Touche. Next is one of my all time favorites, which is Juice Beauty. This is a actual moisturizer with SPF 30. Now what I love about Juice Beauty is that they're actually organic. Most of the ingredients in here are organic and it's organic up to like 95%. This again is a zinc oxide based sunscreen. So if you have acne prone skin, remember it reflects, doesn't absorb those UVA and UVB rays. So it keeps them away from your face, which is better for your skin, better for your acne. And it doesn't have other ingredients that will irritate acne or the ocean. The other ingredients, the first one is organic aloe vera juice and if you have sensitive skin if you've got redness this will be a saving grace for you anyone who's sensitive is gonna love this you need less than you think you do you need a lot less than you think you do when it comes to this if you use too much it is not gonna blend in um, it wears pretty well under makeup throughout the day it's also oil free so if you do need a good oil free option this would be the way to go now next what about when it comes to makeup when it comes to sunscreen whatever the label says if it says SPF 30 SPF 50 those are recommendations on how frequently you have to reapply but if I put my sunscreen on and then all of a sudden I put on makeup it's gonna be pretty damn hard to get sunscreen back under my makeup without destroying my face that's where this puppy comes in. I've been using this for over two years now. This is from Color Science, and this is actually made for rosacea prone skin. This is a broad spectrum SPF 50 brush on sunscreen. It's a high SPF, and this stuff is literal sunscreen powder that you can just pat in. Now what I like about this that is different is the fact that it is reef safe and it is skin safe. This entire line was built for rosacea prone skin. Whereas there are other sunscreen and even makeup sunscreen powders or products infused with sunscreen on the market that just don't do the job. Wayne Goss, a makeup artist, actually did an amazing, amazing video debunking sunscreen in cosmetics. Basically, if you want to get a full serving of sunscreen, you have to apply like half the bottle. And he said there's no way someone can physically wear that on their face. You have to go check that out. And so if your sunscreen is included in your makeup, it is not doing its job for you you need to make sure that you are purchasing something separate in order to do that. But throughout the day, if your makeup is coming off, if you're getting oily, you need a fix. But you don't want to use something that's going to clog you up or that's not going to do the job. This one says SPF 50, and again, you think about this, this is a powder, so it doesn't have the same 
full coverageness is a cream. Even though it says SPF 50, you have to consider that it might be more like a 30 depending on how liberally you apply it. Something you should know. But on top of that, what I love is that it is made for rosacea prone skin. Rosacea is an inflammatory skin condition that causes redness and their entire line fights against that. Highly recommended if you wanna see a full video that I did on it years ago, you can feel free to go check it out. But when it comes to touch-ups throughout the day, um, if I am wearing makeup, this is one of my favorites and it also gets rid of oil. And very last but not least, I wanted to give an honorable mention to cosmetics. Um, I actually don't have the bottle because I used it all up and I just haven't purchased more because I started using other sunscreens I liked better. Um, but when it comes to cosmetics, they do have the Reflect sunscreen, which again is a reef safe, vegan, and cruelty free sunscreen. They're a really good one because they are a spray on. They're not as easy to spray on as the Pacifica one, but you can't just kind of spray them on and rub them in. And I found that it stayed on pretty well throughout the day. Now the biggest difference between this and the other sunscreens that I've mentioned is this one has a different active ingredient. Again, it's a mineral one, it's a physical one, so it's not chemical, but this one uses titanium dioxide instead of zinc oxide. Titanium and zinc are just different particles and they both do a great job at again reflecting that. It's also got some interesting anti-aging ingredients like glutathione which can help prevent wrinkles and prevent some of the actual physical skin damage that the sun provides. For my personal acne prone skin, I mean I'm in my mid 20s, I'm not hyper sensitive about wrinkling right now. I'm pretty good the way I am but this was something that I probably will purchase again once I use up my cult favorites that I have currently got in my stash. That is a little bit about sunscreens. Now you not only know what my favorites are, but you know what to look for. You know how to read those labels. You know what the different types of sunscreen are, and you know how to make a positive choice that will actually benefit not only your skin and your overall health for the future, but the health of our earth and our environment. I hope that you learned a little something here. If you did, be sure to hit the thumbs up. I post new videos every Monday and every Thursday. If you hit the subscribe button and the ding dong notification, you can be part of the early squad. You can get here when I'm still replying to comments, and you can ask me a specific question about anything you have, and I'm happy to talk acne, skin, care, sunscreen, cats, microscopes, <laughs> you name it. But I love you to pieces. I hope that you learned something from this and I cannot wait to chat with you about your favorite sunscreens or really anything else that's on your mind. So welcome to the woods. Do good for your skin, do good for the earth, and I cannot wait to see you all in the next video. <laughs> love you guys. Bye.